Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love in general reading. This is for the element of earth. So if you're a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of April 30th through May 2nd, 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. Uh, you can always request a call back, and um, if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame, so you don't have to wait for me to post a notification uh, that I'm taking calls. Um, also, if you guys are... Uh, haven't been able to check out Patreon, be sure to do so. I do the Venus sign readings there now and also uh, check out the little short reads that I do on TikTok as well. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. Two of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the World. All right, so looks like you guys um, are looking at something that you want, or someone may have their eye on you. I feel like you guys are in a place in your lives where you've been feeling pretty good, pretty content with the things that are going on. Uh, something also may have happened where you're on cloud nine. I feel like you are kind of, you know, in your own world right now and just happy, just enjoying, you know, your situation or your life in general, um, regardless of what's going on. Now, it does look like some of you could be very happy about the return of something or someone. So it's possible that um, someone has come into your life that you've been thinking about, uh, that you miss, whether it's a friend, an ex, um, or whoever, family member. It just seems like you're happy to see this person again. Um, in a love situation, if you don't know this energy, it's still soulmate energy. So whoever it is, they're going to feel um, familiar to you, like you've met each other before, I've known you before. I um, feel like you guys are also making some sort of plans to do something. If you are normally a very guarded person or a very introverted, I feel like something's going on where you decide to maybe go out or you do something that you don't normally do. I feel like you guys are also having an opportunity to uh, express yourselves, whether it's something creative um, or if it's something romantic, but it seems like there's an opportunity to express your feelings. If you've been in doubt about something, I feel like Spirit is saying to trust your intuition. Um, there's, I feel like maybe you also have to be patient for something. Seems like something's been, you've been waiting for something and wondering, is there anything else that you need to do at this time? I'm feeling like whatever this is that you've been waiting for, just let it be. Um, things are going to manifest when it when they when they're supposed to so now somebody literally may have a plant that's dying or it seems like it's dying maybe you've been trying to you know feed it um, and you're like is my plant gonna come back to life uh, it may and it may not you just gotta wait and see I feel like regardless of the situation there is nothing else that needs to be done at this time you don't need to feed it anymore you don't need to uh, put any more water in it. Um, you just got to wait and see. Um, same thing for anything that you've been trying to manifest. It's like, okay, well, I did this. I did that. Is there anything else I need to do, universe? I feel like, no. Just kind of um, let allow things to play out now. Now, it also looks like... 
somebody is very guarded or private. So it's weird because I feel like somebody is maybe hinting or opening up a little bit, uh, showing emotions a little bit, but then I feel like they're going to be uh, become withdrawn again. And that could be you um, or it could be, you know, whoever you're dealing with. Hmm. Some of you are still very guarded about your situation. I feel like also a, a secret came out during the full, full moon, but still nothing has been done about it. Um, hmm. So it's possible that you have already kind of put yourself out there or you did something said something and then you, you're just like well i'm gonna just drop this i'm gonna just leave this right here and whatever happens happens um hmm i kind of feel like you may not get a response or if someone is waiting to hear from you um you're not going to respond hmm some of you i feel like you have decided to let go or decided to move on from a situation. Um, something has already been completed. So it's still something similar, like there's nothing else to be done at this time. It's already, there's nothing else that can be said, unsaid, it's, it's been decided. Hmm. Now, I don't know, too, if you were dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Feels like something's going on where you're moving on or you're letting go of one of these energies. Feel like you're also doing something solo. You're like, okay, I'm, I gotta do it solo. Doesn't matter if someone's coming with me or not. I'm just doing it solo. And you feel good about it. Feel like you're not really worried about what other people have to say. You also may be getting ready to take a trip or travel or return someplace familiar, but it still looks like you're doing something solo. Maybe you're like, I'll be back, but for now you're doing something by yourself. I feel like some of you are also planning on relocating um, maybe by summertime or fall. Mm. Hmm. I also see something like a window of opportunity opening up, opening up for you guys and deciding if you want to go through that, that window. It's like, should I go to this opportunity before this window closes. Now, because it's a weekend read, I feel like Saturday is the last chance to do something. And it's just like kind of a now or never situation. So, you know, it's your decision. And I feel like you're needing to take some sort of assessment of something before you make that final decision. Matter of fact, I feel like maybe some of you did make some sort of decision, but you just aren't telling people. You're just going to do it. Somebody's like, no, I've already made up my mind, but I'm not telling people what I've decided to do. Or maybe someone is withholding information from you. They decided not to share something with you. Something that you're getting ready to do requires confidence. Um, something also looks like maybe you were afraid of leaving your child as you went somewhere or left for some place, or you were uh, didn't want to leave your child with someone. Um, but I feel like maybe you're overcoming that, whatever it is.
I feel like you're going to successfully overcome your anxieties, especially if you have some sort of trust issues. I feel like something's going on where you are finally letting go of those issues. If you had someone blocked, I don't know if you had someone blocked. I feel like it's more that you had, um, you had taken some sort of a break or something about your page was private and now it's open to the public. You may have done that because you didn't trust some people. In a love situation, this is, it looks like it someone needed courage to pursue um, their love interests. So now that someone has the courage to move forward, they will. Someone is ready to take on some sort of challenges that they know they're going to have to face to have that they want, but they're willing to do it. Some of you are on the path of self-mastery. Mm, okay, so I kind of feel like someone wants to open a restaurant or have a food truck or something. Also looks like maybe someone invited you to join them or invited you to do something and it took you a long time to decide what you want to do. Maybe you were hesitant about doing something because you didn't want to go by yourself, but now you're over it. So it also looks like there was someone who opened up to you and someone like there's this attraction between you and another person, but you guys have been uh, resisting that connection, whatever it is. Um, I feel too like somebody's been acting as if they didn't care. I kind of feel like your love interest has been acting like they didn't care, but they were just more so being protective of their heart or their emotions. I feel like there's gonna be an opportunity for the two of you to communicate again. Yeah. Somebody's been holding back. Somebody was holding a grudge too. Um, if, the, if you were holding a grudge, I feel like you're over it. You're like, ah, this, you know, I can't stay mad forever type energy. Or this is the energy of the other person. They're like, you know what, who cares? I'm not mad anymore. I can't continue to feel that way. So someone that I, I definitely feel like the ice is melting uh, in your situation. Like someone is, who was acting icy cold is now warming up and is open to having a conversation. Even if it's not something romantic, it could be somebody who is like, I don't wanna to talk to that person. I'm not ready to talk to that person. And somebody had been completely detached uh, from you or you had been this way towards someone. And I just kind of feel like, you know, okay, you wanna talk, we can talk. But I was mad at you for that last thing you did. Okay, I don't know if someone is a fan of Anita Baker or if the song Angel means anything to anyone. I mean, you're my angel. My angel.
Hmm. Some of you have a guardian angel that's been trying to communicate with you, but you've been ignoring them. Um, I also feel like there's been an urge to complete a project, something that you could have been putting off on a back burner over and over again, or like somebody's constantly hitting a snooze button on a situation. Um, but I feel that, I feel like it's time to do what needs to be done. Take on some sort of responsibility or complete that project. Somebody has been like, I don't want to deal with it right now. I'm not ready. Um, that's a lot of work. Something also could be going on at a job. Like you could have been offered some sort of position, but because it required more responsibility or hours you didn't like, you thought about it, you kept thinking about what your answer was going to be. And I feel like you were also holding back because you were afraid of failure. Um, yeah, just afraid of failing, afraid of your flaws being exposed. Just kind of like, oh, you know, everyone to know that I don't know what I'm doing or that I don't have any experience in this department or it's something I feel like I'm getting like fears in regards to a work position. But th these can still be fears about something where someone just was afraid of uh, failure. So they didn't want to do something or take on some sort of responsibility. Maybe someone didn't want the responsibility of a relationship. I also feel that someone has been in denial or doesn't want to admit something. I see something about this fire sign seems to be stuck or uh, I'm getting like zone you're in that zone <laughs> Some, something a point of no return I don't know if something's going on with the fire sign where you are either trying not to think about them or you've blocked them or decided to move on from them Let me see what's going on with the fire sign. So seems like a fire sign is trying to find out what you're up to. Um, this person is trying to figure you out they're trying to understand you but I feel like you don't want to be understood by them um I feel like you're maybe closed off I feel like you're closed off to some sort of potential with a fire sign for whatever reason um I feel like you're wanting to be left alone or you're leaving them behind or they can't go with you yeah, you guys are wanting to do something alone. I do feel like maybe at one point something was going on with you in this fire sign. Maybe you're already in a relationship with a fire sign, but there's something that you have to do by yourself. Maybe you need your alone time or maybe you have to go on a trip, but you can't take them. They want to go, but they can't. Um, yeah. For the most part, I feel like somebody won't leave. They won't leave you alone. Yeah. So it's up to you whether or not you're wanting to move forward with them. Um, but it does look like at least getting closure like you're gonna have closure 
um, or be able to put the past behind you. Um, it also, the last thing I'm picking up is that if someone is going to visit you, maybe it's a secret, maybe it's a surprise visit. So that's a possibility too. All right, let's pull some energy cards. All right, what additional messages are there for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Okay, you have the thinking woman, victory, angel of strength, and caring connection. All right, so the overall energy does seem like there's someone that you care about, that you've been thinking about. And it's a possibility that there's gonna be some sort of communication between you and this person. Either way, it's a it's a victory or something's going to be a win-win. It's a win-win situation. Both people end up getting what they ask for or what they want. Um, I'm getting that it may be talking about something romantic, but it can be for any aspect of your life. Um, you get something that you wanted or desired, or you get the information that you needed, the confirmation that you needed. Um, a response that you were wanting yeah so I feel like you guys are going to just kind of enjoy something as it's unfolding before you I still feel like courage is needed now strength has come out several times there definitely could be Leo energy around you um but something does require you to have strength or uh, you need encouragement to take on some sort of task that you're getting ready to take on. Maybe someone is encouraging you to uh, share your emotions. Someone is encouraging you to take on that job opportunity uh, or encouraging you to uh, move forward with some sort of project that you were wanting to do. So if you were worried about whether or not you could handle something, I feel like with strength out, you do have support around you. And you do have uh, protection here. Like I was saying, the song Angel was coming to mind. So I do feel like maybe there's an angel around you, encouraging you, um, whispering to you, trying to you know encourage you to do whatever it is that your heart is desiring at this time. Mm. I'll turn over one more for you guys. Pillar of Ages. So I feel like you guys may have needed to uh, repair the damages in regards to maybe a relationship. Um, maybe you have kept away so that you can heal or someone was keeping at distance so that they could heal themselves. And now that someone has healed, I feel like it's like, okay, now I have the strength to go on. Now I have the courage to take on a new relationship or the courage to take on a new job. So yeah, maybe someone did need to heal or recover from the past. And now that someone has, uh, is, has moved on or at least in a place where they are emotionally strong enough mentally strong enough to take on some sort of new challenges because there are always going to be challenges in life we don't get to escape those so the point is that now you're in a place where you can take on some new challenge or something um, now also on a mundane level i feel like somebody is tense and maybe getting some sort of massage facial um, manicure, something, but more so where someone is placing their hands on you and like pushing, 
stress, get, getting rid of it for you, relaxing your muscles. So I kind of feel like if you're if you're already in a relationship or if you regularly go get massages and things like that, you could be doing something like that. Or maybe like someone has their child walking on their back. I just feel like something is a, a stress release, but like with physical touch more so than meditation, like someone's literally touching someone and taking out their stress. So hopefully these messages make sense, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.